So let me put that data out again from the Sea Water Survey on the choice for Chief Minister here. Siddharamaya comes out on top with 41% of the respondents saying they would like former Congress Chief Minister Siddharamaya to be Chief Minister once again. At number two is Basavraj Bomai, the current BJP Chief Minister. He comes in at 31. Uh, H.T. Kumaraswamy, who Tanvir Ahmed is rooting for, comes in at number three at 22. And for all the fans of DK, Shiv Kumari actually comes in with just 3% of the respondents wanting him to be Chief Minister. Very clearly, uh, Yashwant, your study seems to suggest that Siddharamaya is the man who is the number one choice to be Chief Minister at this time. Bomai won't like it and not sure DK Shiv Kumar would like to see these numbers either. They may not like it, but that's, a, uh, that's the thing. And this is a secular trend, I tell you, Rahul, because you know that we do the daily trackers. It's not a one-off survey, uh, you know, done. You know, we, we do it day in and day out for the last 11 years. And what I can tell you that the trend of this gap between the BJP and the Congress is static for almost like now one and a half years, more or less. And Mr. Siddharamaya getting in the range of somewhere like uh, 35 to 42 percent, 43 percent kind of range as the uh, as the most popular leader is also kind of a static trend. It's not something which has happened overnight. So first of all, whatever trends you are looking at the sea voter numbers, they are more or less, uh, uh, I mean, in the same direction for more than a year now. I mean, almost like 18 months now, they are pretty much in the same direction with a similar kind of gap, more or less. Uh, okay. Uh, however, uh, as GDL, I mentioned, that Rao, GDL, you know, very yeah. often this is of prime importance that who do people want as chief minister here? Sea Water predicts a 10% gap. So you're essentially hoping that people will not see any local BJP leader. They look above the local BJP leader, look at the face of the prime minister, and vote for the BJP over the likes of Siddharamaya, who in the Sea Water poll comes out as the number one choice for chief minister. You're on mute, GBN. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Rahul, that has been the case in some other states as well. BJP, certainly it's our, our national leadership, Honorable Prime Minister is so popular that he pulls in a lot of support and votes for the BJP. We see it as our strength. We don't see it as a weakness. There are states where actually uh, an incumbent chief minister has lost, but we have won. Uh, 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 so certainly, I think... Uh, it's not the popular rating. These elections are not presidential contests. At the end of the day, when people go to vote, they will vote on, on the basis of a number of factors. Leadership factor plays a big role only in some elections. And even Siddharamaya does not have popularity far beyond the Congress vote base. So therefore, to say that uh, the con BJP leaders rank below the Congress, therefore, the BJP will finish second is completely an erroneous uh, expectation. Sure. No, that's we important. will certainly disprove these estimates. Okay. I want to put out this data about how people perceive the current state government. Now, this is very important. Uh, this finding by C Voter, which says that 57% of the respondents are angry and they want change, which is more than the number of voters for uh, the Congress and the, those who are not angry are only 19% essentially suggesting, Yashwan Deshmukh, that many BJP voters also are not happy with the performance of their government. Remember, the BJP vote share was about 36% last time. If only 19% of the respondents are not angry, it essentially suggests that half the BJP voters don't like how their government has performed. Well, they are unhappy, but at the same time, a big number of them are also saying that they are angry, but they do not wish to change. So that is a very classical question. And also keeping in mind that the 57% the, the of the people or respondents who are saying that they are looking for a change are also kind of the same people who are split between the Congress and the JDS. So that is an important factor to notice here. However, one thing that, you know, I noticed between the other projections and our projections that, you know, our numbers on the seat share side, Rahul, are, are slightly on the conservative side. And that the, the big reason for that is that, you know, uh, and probably the Congress spokesperson will understand that. Ten years back, you know, when there was a literal virtual split of the BJP vote, when uh, Mr. Yadirappa uh, became a rebel and floated his own party, the gap between, gap between the Congress and the BJP was 16% almost, one six. And even at that point of time, the best possible tally that Congress could manage was about 122. So 
this is where I want to, you know, put the historical context in place that yes, it is a triangular fly fight. Yes, JDS matters a lot. I agree with Tanvir that, you know, they remain an important player. How much we'll know on the counting day and why Congress needs even a bigger number uh, right now for a sweep that they are expecting is that with a 16% gap 10 years back, they could manage 122. So yes, the overall uh, fight in outside the Mysuru Karnataka, in rest of the regions of Karnataka, it is bipolar, more or less. Uh, Tanvir Bhai wouldn't like it much, but yes, the southern Karnataka region, it is triangular and a lot will depend on how much JDS is polling, how much actually they try to make it between the Congress and JDS as bipolar. And we will know if the BJP actually puts up a good performance. Because oddly enough, Rahul, BJP performing well in southern Karnataka is not a good sign for JDS. It will end up helping the Congress because it is the same vote bank, anti-Congress vote bank, which gets split within the JDS and the BJP largely in southern Karnataka. So that is one very particular angle which uh, we have to understand.